Hi everyone, so somebody was asking me a question, how to save their audio tracks in Audacity so they don't mix up. How to save a project in order for them to be able to access it later on with their um, tracks not mixed up so they can be able to work on them. And the answer is so simple. So to show you this guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Audacity. So I went to YouTube audio library and I downloaded two songs that we're going to be using in this. I downloaded these two songs and I'm gonna go ahead and import them in Audacity. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop uh, the first track. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the second track. And it's so simple. If you save your uh, Audacity as a project and you don't export it as a, uh, um, an audio it won't mix up your tracks and I have no idea why he was so confused about that but it's so simple guys so you can see here I have two tracks I have this first one the spring throw and I have the last one which is the average you can see they're playing simultaneously so let's say this is a project you're working on and you want to save it in order for you to be able to uh, access it later on to edit it or you want to be able to uh, play around with audacity the way he wanted to without affecting these two tracks all you have to do is go to file and instead of saying export you're supposed to say uh, save project and you save the project as let's say um, we're going to save the project on the desktop as spring throw so we're going to go ahead and save the project and you can see our project is going to be saved right here this is a project that we saved. So if we go ahead and close this, later on we can just open up Audacity in this project that we saved. And voila, you can see we have both uh, the tracks. We have track one and we have track two. So that's simple guys. You just have to save project as instead of export. So let me show you the other option. If you just say file and you say export as MP3 say, uh, we're going to export it as an mp3 and it's going to still continue having now let's say new mp3 new mp3 audio if you go ahead and save it as this it's going to combine both your tracks so when you open it up in audacity or whatever you're going to be playing it it will have combined both the tracks all right so I'm going to go ahead and reopen Audacity here to show you what it will have done. It combines both, not like the way you save the project. So it's right here, the new MP3 audio. If we go ahead and drag it to Audacity, you're going to see it combined both the tracks. So it combined both the tracks here, you have only one track. And if you play it, it's going to have both the audios combined together. <laughs> And that's not what he wanted. He wanted to be able to open it up as this. So when you open it up, you have two tracks and you can be able to play it to or edit and play around with both of them uh, separately. I think that's what he wanted. And this is how you can save two audio tracks in your Audacity without mixing them up. It's so simple. Save project as and do not export audio as. Thank you so much guys for watching and that's it for today. I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Bye bye for now.